Happy Sunday. Kitty's right there. Um, you people who saw my video yesterday saw that we went out into the world. Here's some stories about yesterday that were not videoed. Um, mainly at the pet store. Um, I went and I, I pet all the dogs that were out. Um, I was very proud of Heidi because she didn't growl or bark at anyone or anything. And there was a lot going on in that store. There were more people than normal. Lots of dogs, dogs barking, lots of stuff happening. And she, she let a couple people pet her because people would ask and I would be like, well, yeah, but sometimes she could be bitchy. <laughs> um, no kitty. No. So one instance we were, I was petting this one dog. It was not in a cage. It was in a pen. And it was a big dog, and it put its paws on top of the pen, and it was nose to nose with Heidi. I mean, it was sniffing Heidi's nose, and Heidi had this look of, what the hell's going on? And she's trying to go like this away from him, like, why is this dog's face in my face? <laughs> but she never growled or barked at him, but she was, like, her eyes got really big. <laughs> and then um, another time in there, I was holding this little eight-week, ten-week-old kitten, little tiny thing. And uh, I had to turn off my camera stuff because the girls handed it to me and I had it in both hands like this. And I put it up towards Heidi's face for Heidi to sniff it. Because Heidi's like, what do you got? And the kitty saw Heidi and sniffed her and then starts backing up. Tensing up and backing up like, what is that? Because I guess she'd never had um, a face-to-face -face contact with a dog before. So she didn't know what a dog was. And Kitty was like, what is that thing? <laughs> get, back up, get it away. <laughs> So, um, it was very cute. Dad's like, our next dog's going to come from a place like this. We're going to adopt our next dog. Dad has gone through a phase where we're never having another dog after Heidi. Can't take it. When I lose Heidi, it's going to be devastating, which it will be devastating. But we're never having another dog. To now, it's like, if we get another dog, it's going to be adopted like this. Because he kept saying, there's so many nice dogs here. That's what he kept saying. So, um, that was fun. And it being 45 degrees yesterday was awesome. It's 40, 42 or 3 out today. This morning I woke up and I'm like, oh God, it feels like rain because my body just tells me when it's raining. And it was raining. It wasn't a kitty. What, do you want some of these? This is probably what she wants. Yesterday was such a nice day. And then Tuesday, Tuesday... Coming up, we are going to go to Shipshawana, Indiana, and um, we called and invited. The first person we called and invited was Joni, Dad's boyfriend's wife, um, but she cannot go on Tuesday because she has plans to. That's the day she takes her grandson to the library for this reading thing. So then we, Grandma, who was going to be the, well, we we had to wait till she got out of church. So she's going to go, and then our neighbor Lois, we called back here, and she's like, "I would love to go." So. um... I will be, uh, we'll be headed there to go to, we'll probably order some hamburger to pick up. I got some things I want to get at the ENS bulk store. We'll probably go to the, I know we'll go to Yoder's Meat Market because that's where we got to pick up our hamburger. Might go to Yoder's, um, uh, store. Like, uh, it's like, it's like a, you've been there with me before at one time. Um. Like a merchantile. There we go. And we'll probably stop at the bakery. I don't know if we will or not. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm sure we will. I get. I bet Dad will get donuts for Mike and the people down at Wesner's. Because tomorrow Dad's going to the funeral home for visiting the people we know who run the car place where Dad and Larry works at. The girl in the office there, Mickey, who, who's the daughter of the guy who owns the place. And then I've known her, gosh, since I had my very first car because my car has always been serviced there but her husband who I did not know um, the other night died suddenly of a heart attack in his chair in his recliner in the living room he was 61 uh, a lot of people in, in the in the town knew him he worked at the senior center you know he's been in this town all his life he graduated uh, the high school here he's just he's, he's a community type guy and I saw his picture and he looked familiar but I didn't know him but Dad and Larry are going to go to the funeral home tomorrow to pay their respects to the family. And, uh... 
So you just never know, people. Never know. Um, I have a couple notes written down here, so I wouldn't. And I can't even read my own handwriting. What the hell is that? Cool. Cool. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. No idea what I wrote down. Told you about Ship Shawana. Told you about the pet store. I have no idea what I wrote there. But I am going to show you my cross stitch. Oh, I know what that word is now. It's cookie. I, I, I want to talk. Let's do that first. This is a cookie I bought at a booth in the, fleet, in the farmer's market. I, I, if I go there again, I'm going to get this woman on video telling you what's in this. There's no flour in this cookie at all. I said, well, how does it make a cookie? She makes a lot of gluten-free... Um, she was very nice. We had a conversation about my scooter because she wants to... Her, she wants to talk her mom into getting one, and um, she's very free spirited, you know. And um, I bought one just because I was curious. Dad's like, I don't know why you buy that thing. He says it doesn't even look good. It's flat. I said, Dad, it's a cookie. A cookie's flat. <laughs> but we're gonna see how it tastes. Good. I thought it was going to be brittle, but it's really chewy. I do still don't know what's in this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask her next time. For sure. It's an expensive cookie, but a good cookie. You got to help people out and buy some stuff from them once in a while. It's like a $2 cookie. But at least it's good and I'm not going to... Um, here is my, well, I'm going to leave it in the hoop, but this is what I've got done on it so far. Pow. You can start seeing where the boat dock's going to be. I'm starting to work on the sky up here. This corner here is almost filled in. There's just a little bit left to go. So, yeah, coming along, coming along. And the kitty comes, like, she could be in a dead dead sleep on the bed. As soon as she hears me pick this up and unzip it, she's looking up. Like, is that what she's getting into? And then pretty soon she jumps up and she's over here. Talking about you. Yes, I am. I'm excited about Tuesday. I haven't been to Ship Shawana in a little while. I have a few things on my list to get. To look for. Um, so, yeah. Get ready to go have a snack and watch some shows. What time is it? It is 3.30. Go have a snack. Watch some DVR stuff. Tonight is The Walking Dead for all you folks. I, everybody who knows, I know they're all excited. I'm recording it along with the Grammys. So, uh, yeah. But I'm excited. It's coming back. I want to know what's going to happen. Dang it. Kitty, are you going to watch The Walking Dead? Huh? You don't watch The Walking Dead? She don't, she don't really care. One way or the other. What did y'all do exciting this weekend? I like to be nosy and ask. Oh, yes, I do. But now, I'm going to go and um, I'm going to eat my cookie. Heck, that could be my snack. I, I got to get a bottle of water. Water. And chill. So, hope you're having a happy Sunday. Bye.